Hello Patriots, so in this video we're going to be starting some statistics. They've moved it from Algebra 2 into Geometry and we're going to deal with it. So in this portion of statistics we're going to talk what we call a five number summary and we're going to be making a box and whisker plot. So we're going to talk about what we call descriptive statistics. Um, they, they help, uh, in short, they help us describe and understand the features of a data set. A data set is just a group of numbers and what we're going to do is we're going to describe that group of numbers using really just one number. All right, so that's what descriptive statistics allow us to do. Uh, we can do central tendencies, which are our mean, our median, our mode, and then variability. How much our data is spread out is measured by standard deviation, variance, minimum, maximum, range, skewness, all of those things. And we're going to talk about some of them in this lesson. Okay, so we're talking about mean, median, and mode. What are mean, median, and mode? Well, remember, mean means average. We're going to add up all of our data, and then we're going to divide it by how many items there are. Um, so what's cool in statistics, I think it's cool at least. Let me move this out of the way. In statistics, mean is what we call sigma. Uh, why did that happen? It's called sigma of x divided by n. Add up all your, your items, and then divide it by how many items there are. Median is going to be the central value of our data. It is the middle number once you put the data in order from least to greatest. And then mode is the data point that happens most often. Um, the, you can have one mode, no modes, multiple modes. If one item occurs the same number of the most, the same number of times, there's two of those, then that is multiple modes. So a five number summary is going to take some of these items and we're going to describe our data set with it. So the, are the numbers we're concerned about are minimum, me, uh, first quartile. A first quartile is going to be a number that it happens at 25% of our data. The median, of course, is in the middle. So 50% of our data is to the left, 50% uh, is to the right. Third quartile will have 75% of our data to the left, 25% of our data to the right. And our maximum is going to be our largest value. Of course, all of these, all of, uh, all of these terms only exist if we have put our numbers in order from least to greatest. I cannot stress that enough. To do our five number summary, your data must always be ordered from least to greatest. So how are we gonna find our five number summary? Well, first off, put your data in order, and that order is gonna be least to greatest. So we're gonna find our mean of our data set. That's the middle value. If you have an odd number of data, it's actually, the data will be like, if let's say we have 11 pieces of data. So we're going to do 11 divided by 2, that's 5 and a half. So we're going to have 5 pieces of data to the left, 5 pieces of data to the right, and that half point is a number. Well, if we have an even number of data, let's say we have 12. 12, to cut it in half, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So we're going to have 6 pieces of data to the left, 6 pieces of data to the right, and the median is going to be the space in between. And the space in between to find that actual value, we're going to find the average of the two numbers on the sites. And I'm going to show you that here in a moment. Then we're going to find our Q1. Q well, After I found the median, Q1 is the median to the left of that value. Q3 is the median to the right of our median. Our minimum will be our smallest value and our maximum is our largest value. So let's find the mean, median, mode, uh, and the five number data set for this value. So the first thing I want to do is put the numbers in order. Well, I already did for you because I wanted to save a little time on the video. I only have so much time. So average, our mean, we are going to take our data and we are going to add it together. 10 plus 50 plus 65 plus 73 plus 73 plus 78 plus 79, plus 83, plus 84, oh my goodness, plus 85, plus 89, plus 92, plus 97, plus 100, 
all divided by how many items there are. And I'm going to count from the original items. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I want to make sure I put 14 items in my problem. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I've got them all, and I'm going to divide that by 14. All right, so of course I'm going to use a calculator for this. So when I use my calculator, I get a mean of about, I'm going to round it to two decimal places, 75.57. There's my mean, the number, the average. Then it said find mode. Mode is the number that happens most often. So which of these values up here happens more often? Once, once, 73 happens twice, 84, 84. So 73 is the number that happens most. So my mode is 73. Now we want to find our five number summary. Our five number summary is going to be minimum, first quartile, second quartile or median, third quartile and max. So when we have our value, our numbers in order, I'm going to go back at my original orders. There are 14 pieces of data. 14 divided by 2, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So that means we're going to have 7 pieces of data on the left of the middle and 7 pieces on the right. And because it's even, it's even, that's going to be a space. So let's count 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's my, where my median. So to find the median, we are going to take the average of the two numbers on either side. So I'm going to do 79 plus 83, and I'm going to divide that by 2. And this is going to be what we call our uh, median. So 79 plus 83, to, oh, dang it, I did it. Uh, and then I'm going to divide that answer by 2, and we get a median of 81. Another way of saying it is the median is exactly halfway between those two values. Now we need to find our first quartile. Our first quartile is the median of these numbers. Well, there are seven of those. So seven divided by two is 3.5. So what that means for us is there's going to be three numbers to the left, three numbers to the right. So there is Q1. Q1 is 73. The first quartile is 73. We're going to do the same thing for our third quartile. I'm moving everything around and I don't want to. There we go. So our third quartile are going to be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. See how there's 3 and 3 and the 1 in the middle? That's my third quartile. So the third quartile is 89. And then we have our minimum is our smallest value. Here is our minimum. And here is our max. So. My five number summary has a minimum, a minimum of 10. My goodness, that was, that's so hard to read. There we go. So we have a minimum of 10. My first quartile is at 73. My median, some people can call that the second quartile. We have a median value of, what did we say, 81. We have a third quartile of 89. And our max, oh, I keep hitting the button, that's what's going on. Our max is 100. I'm trying to write with this little pen, and there's a button on it that I keep apparently hitting. So when, we make a, when we're making a box and whiskers plot, we're going to take our numbers and what we're going to do is we're going to take our five number summary and we're going to put it right here. So we've, we're going to have our minimum value, 
our first quartile, our median value, our third quartile, and our maximum value right there. And what we notice when we are doing a box and whisker plot, 25% of all of my data is on what we call this first whisker. 25% of my next 25%, my next 25%, and then my last 25%. A box and whisker divides my data into quarters. And the reason why some of them are shorter and longer is because there's not a different number of points, but it can cover a different range. And what we are really going to be concerned with is the box. The box is 50% or half of my data. Half of the data is within that box. And that's what we like because it eliminates the stuff on the outside edges. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a number line and we're going to number it. We're going to plot the five numbers we're talking about, our five number summary, our minimum quarter, uh, first quartile, median, third quartile, maximum value. And then we're going to draw our whiskers and our uh, to our box. All right, so let's make our box and whisker plot using our last five, um, our last five number summary. So we're going to start with our number line and our number line goes all the way from 10 to 100. So what I'm gonna kinda of count by is I'm gonna go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and there's my 100. I'm gonna move my 100 over because I wasn't quite there, but there I go. So there's my, there is my um, number line. Oh, you know what? And what I'm going to do is I, I'm gonna, I lied to you a moment. Let's make this 10. Let's make my 100 right here. And then I'm going to start at 0. Boom, there's 0. And it goes from 0 to 100. There we go. I like that a lot better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot my minimum point. I'm going to plot my maximum point. Q1, if we, if we flip back and we look, Q1 happened at 73. My me, so my box is going to go from Q1 at 73 all the way up to 89 with an 81. So I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So 73 to about 89 with a median at 81. There are my whiskers and then what i always like to do is i want to tell everybody where these points are so we had 73 81 and 89 and my 10 and my 100 are at those points exactly so i don't need to label them and then we're going to talk about interquartile range interquartile range is the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile and that is going to be equal to my interquartile range or what we call iqr we're going to use this to find any outliers in my data, any data that is too small or too big. I'm running out of time on my video, unfortunately. So um, read it, pause it. So to find if there's any outliers on my data set, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Q3 minus Q1, or we are going to do uh, 89 minus 73. 89 minus 73, that gives me 16. And then to find out if there's any outliers, there's my IQR. To find out if there are any outliers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 16 and I'm going to multiply it by one and a half. So multiplying that by one and a half gives me 24. So what this means is any value below, if you do Q1 minus 24 or you do Q3 plus 24, any number below this value, below Q1 minus 24 is an outlier, any value above Q, uh, Q3 plus 24 is an outlier. So you can see that we do have some outliers because this would give us uh, 49, 73 minus 24, 49. Any number below 49 is an outlier. So 10 is an outlier. 
and then 89 plus 24 gives me 113. Any number above 113 is an outlier on the other end. We don't go that big, so no worries on that. All right, so if you have any questions after this video, please jot them down and ask your teacher. And Patriots, we will see you when we see you.